He was a coach in the Detroit area for more than 30 years, helping several local athletes reach the professional level. Blanton Anton Day died recently of a heart attack, but he left behind a long lasting legacy. Jermont Terry joins us with how those close to Coach Day are honoring his life. Jermont. Kimberly, tonight there is an eerie feeling on this football field. That's because the varsity head coach of Franklin Douglas High can no longer step foot on this turf. And that void is leaving something truly huge in the lives of those who depended on him. As the sun sets, players mourn their beloved coach. He always going to be here in my heart all the time. Heavy hearts at Frederick Douglass High. I broke down in tears. Jafari Green looked forward to playing his senior year under coach Anton Day. But coach Day's unexpected death from a massive heart attack leaves a huge void not only on the gridiron. Another father, a second dad, literally but more importantly, the lives of his players. He made sure I stayed on the football field 24 seven and he, and he helped me get a job so I wouldn't be in the streets when I ain't had practice. There we go, let's do that. For 30 years, Coach Day mentored as a coach and referee throughout Detroit. Every little league team in the city of Detroit, he spent time with. He went by, he marked the fields. Friends insisting it highlights his true love for his community. His thing was to push him, push you through, and let you know that you can make it, that you can do it, that you can be better. This is just the kind of guy he was. Now his players are determined to keep pushing. They will honor a man who always wanted the best for them. Jafari recalls Coach Day's final speech to the team. Work hard. And I love y'all. Literally, I love y'all and let's work hard for the rest of the season. So the team will dedicate its upcoming season to Coach Day, but first they will honor him with a prayer vigil that is scheduled here on the football field tomorrow evening at 630. Now we should also point out that besides the countless young men that Coach Day has helped over, all over the years, he leaves behind a wife and several children. Reporting live on the city's west side tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Sounds like really a nice tribute. Okay, Jermont.